Hey friends, Daniel Porterfield here with Alan Kelly and Company Heating and Cooling. Uh, I'm here to talk about um, air filters. You know, uh, it's the time of the year where everybody's sniffling and sneezing and allergies and sickness is going around. I mean, what do you buy these days uh, for, uh, for air filters? Because the, the air you breathe in your house is just getting recirculated over and over and over and over and over. And everything you, everybody that comes in the house, you're breathing, uh, you know, you're all breathing the same air. So how do you know what filter to buy? Well, let me tell you. I go, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a big box store here. I'll just give you a couple of guesses which one. Uh, but I'm looking at these filters here. And so here's a, you know, here's a standard old, uh, let me show you standard old uh, fiberglass filter. It's a two pack for about five bucks. Um, that filter is not going to do much for you unless it gets dirty. When it gets dirty, it'll actually start to stop some some of the pollutants coming in your house. So you're going to want to you're going to spend a little bit more money. Uh, you know, so you know you come up here to uh, you know you look at these uh, pleated filters. You're going to want to get a decent pleated filter. And the more pleats you have in a filter, uh, the better the filter is. Actually, the more air, the better it can breathe with the more pleats. You would think it would be the opposite, but it actually gives it the most surface. Uh, the more pleats you have, like an accordion, like this here. Look at this. So these filters here, uh, here's some more right here. These filters here is a two pack for about 20 bucks. Uh, so what do you buy? You know, you look at these numbers on here. You got 1500, you got 1085. Uh, basically you get what you pay for. Uh, I would recommend uh, spending somewhere around 15 bucks for a filter, uh, for one single filter. Uh, and that's going to um, and, and change your filter regularly. So if you, you know, if you if you pull your old fiberglass three dollar filter out and you can make it buy it at Walmart or something, and you hold it up to the light and it looks crystal clean month after month after month, guess what? That's that's not a good thing. That means it's not stopping the pollutants and dirt coming in your house. It's letting it all go through straight to your coil and it's getting embedded inside of your heating and air system. And then you're breathing mold spores at that point, okay? It's not a good thing to have a clean filter month after month after month. Your filter should get brown, it should get dirty uh, after about 30 to 60, maybe 90 days at the most. Uh, change that filter. That's gonna help reduce sickness and uh, colds duration in your home. It's gonna reduce your electric bill because your heating and cooling unit is gonna spike uh, your electric bill by about 20 to 30% with a dirty filter and a dirty coil. So what you're gonna do is um, stop here. You're going to want to uh, click on one of the links that I've got attached. One is for our company, Allen Kelly and Company. Uh, should obviously include that, right? Uh, to have a uh, very highly valuable but discounted uh, heating service checkup done on your on your home and also the other link is for filtereasy.com so that you can sign up and have your filters delivered to your home uh, at a lower